<laughs> All these thoughts are swarming around in my head. I can't get them out. Somebody help me. All right, hey, what's poppin' everyone? So I'm gonna be answering the long-awaited question in today's video. Should you take the Solutions Architect Associate exam first or the SysOps Administrator exam first? They're both associate level certifications, so they could be both ideal starting points for your journey through AWS. So if you don't know who I am, I am Dan Clark, and I'm the six times AWS certified AWS professional ex expert or whatever you want to call me. But anyways, so in a world of limited resources and limited time, you have a limited number of actions to take. So you might only want to take maybe one AWS certification. And if you only had one to take, I'm hopefully want to, going to answer the question of which one should you take first if you were only going to take one. And hopefully I'll answer that in today's video. People like taking these AWS certifications to either help them get a job in the first place or maybe help them boost their chances of getting a raise or maybe a better job in the future. So people like taking these certifications first because they're a little bit more challenging than the easiest one, the cloud practitioner, but they also have more meaning than that cloud practitioner exam as well. So at the service level, this could be like a really, sounds like a really obvious decision to make, like which one to take, the Solutions Architect Associate or the um, Cloud, or the, sorry, the Sys SysOps Administrator. It seems like a really easy decision to make because you know everyone's going for the SysOps Administrator. But I'm here to tell you, it's not always gonna be simple black and white. Like always go for the, the Solutions Architect Associate exam first, even though it is the easiest and the most people or pretty much everyone and their mom is taking it right now. But that doesn't mean you should always go for it first. And you might also say, if you wanna be like a SysOps administrator, and you just take that one first. And it's not always clear cut that case either. So, or you might say, if you wanna be an architect, go for the architect exam first. And yeah, you might, you might say that, but there is sometimes more options and I'm here to open that up. So before I open up those options, make sure to triple click that like button because there is a entry fee for those options and it's you triple clicking that like button. So thanks. So before I go into more detail about which one to go first, I want to give you my usual warning that AWS certifications alone do not get you the job that you're going to look for. It might be a bonus thing, it might help you get an interview or something like that, but it will not alone help you get the job. So actual experience is key is what will get you the job. That was my warning, okay. So both of these exams cover a wide variety of topics. So let's look in to see what topics to cover and how that might have an influence on what you are going to take first. So in my opinion, I believe you should start with the core, start with a core understanding of AWS before you even decide which AWS certification to go for. So you should learn as much as you can about AWS before which, like, this, before you decide on a path to take, because that path could be a little bit more binding than you might think it could be. Because uh, you could always say, oh yeah, I'll just take uh, the other certification later. But then you might say, oh, never mind, I don't want to do that. I'm too lazy or something like that. You might just give up which happens to a lot of people, trust me. So Solution Architect Associate Exam covers a lot of the general core cloud topics like EC2, S3, VPC, et cetera. A lot of the database and compute services. So if you're really interested in, in like storing stuff in the cloud or maybe computing stuff in the cloud, go for a Solution Architect Associate, which you know that's, that's a very broad statement right there because you know, it's, a lot of people are interested in that kind of thing, which maybe that's why a lot of people take that exam first. So you'll need to know the basics of the core, compute and cloud um, storage and compute services. And that, that's really like the core of it. And of course, there's gonna be more than that, like networking, a little bit networking basics. There's a little bit of everything in that one. So that's why a little bit of everything can be good sometimes. So the opposite of a little bit of everything is a little bit of the nitty gritty. And that's what the SysOps administrator does. So it'll go into the nitty gritty on like the logging, the VPC, like more into detail of that. And like with a focus on like hybrid cloud, some, some of like the details that solutions architects don't really care that much about. And it'll go into like stuff like Lambda in more detail than solutions architect would. And maybe it'll have a lot more troubleshooting various services, which of course, it's more nitty gritty. And that's kind of like the, the general consensus that it is more difficult because it's more nitty gritty and you have to like know all the details of a lot more services. So I guess from that um, idea, if you want like to troubleshoot things and solving like various problems inside of AWS, then I would go for SysOps Administrator cert certification first. 
Um, and you don't even need to take the Solution Architect Associate because it is so high level, like broad level, that it might not even be use that useful. So another secret hidden reason that you won't get from anyone else, uh, at least I don't think anyone else, like most, most people will say to go for Solution Architect Associate first, but a hidden reason why I would not go for that first is that it is um, not nearly as contested to go for the SysOps Administrator exam certification. That's a, that's a lot of words I just said there. But can, you want to think about the numbers game, because that's really what getting a job is about. And if everyone has a Solution Architect Associate exam, then it's just nothing. Like getting a job, that it won't, it's like just like a piece of paper at that point. Like everyone has it. Like I said, everyone, their mom and their dad and their uncle's mom and their uncle's dad and everyone. So what's the point of even having it at that point? So like if I was a hiring manager for some, some tech job and I was hiring two, two of the same people and they, um, they have the same qualifications, except one person has Solution Architect, architect Associate and the other one has this uh, SysOps Administrator Associate, I would hire the SysOps Administrator Associate certification person first because it is harder and it all, in my opinion, it gives more practical experience. And yeah, that's it. I would hire them first. So, I mean, I'm not a hiring manager, so I, I can't make that decision like to hire you, but that's what I would make if I was one. And I feel like a lot of hiring managers do make that decision or not do make that decision because I don't think they come across that decision very often. They probably look at more at their experiences which will play much bigger into that than whatever certification would be, would. So another like hidden thing is that if you are um, interested in AWS Partner Program, then you would need the Solution Architect Associate and not the SysOps Administrator. Very small thing, but sometimes it could matter. So another deciding factor of which of these to go for is what kind of jobs are in your area. And you might think, oh, there aren't actually any jobs in your area. And then uh, my answer to that would be, uh, maybe go to a different area. <laughs> maybe, maybe very possible. Because sometimes if you're living out in the, a farm in the middle of um, Farmville, then maybe you need to go somewhere else to get a job. I mean, that's why maybe some people have difficulty finding some jobs. And the other reason might be there's a lot of competition. But anyways, see what kind of jobs are in your, in your area and see what certification kind of matches the majority of those jobs. It might give you like um, the cutting edge over the competition. So if you are going to do both anyways, maybe go for the um, Solution Target Architect Associate first because it is the higher level one, the easier one to do. It just kind of makes sense to do first. But yeah, if you're going to do both, just do that one and then stop second or maybe, maybe even third. And if you do developer, at least that's not what I did. I did a developer first. Oh, well. <laughs> so at the end of the day, it really doesn't ha matter that much, but everyone will not have the same path that you're going to take. So I can't really give you what the correct answer is. Um, but I wish you the best of luck in finding your best answer, your best path. And yeah, I hope this helped a little bit <laughs> in helping you decide. Um, if it did, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already or um, comment on what video I should make next. And yeah, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.